Welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today, as you guys can see, I have yet again something from Sakoni or Sakani or Sao, whatever. However, you pronounce the name, doesn't really matter. What matters is the quality of the stuff that they make. And let me tell you guys, this is Switchback 2. Now, this is not my first Switchback review. I have reviewed Switchback 1, and it also had the BOA system, the very fancy, very awesome. I absolutely love that BOA system. Excellent outsole, very lightweight, very comfortable. Overall, great, great trail running shoe. Now, this one is supposedly an upgrade. Well, we will see if they uh, really did uh, an upgraded job on uh, this one. So, if some, some of you already know, this is not just a regular shoe review, this review is specifically for my Ultimate Survival Boots section. So basically, if this wasn't just your trail running shoe, just your regular running shoe, whatever you're using it for, but something bad happened and you were actually surviving in these shoes. You had to run, you had to climb, you had to fight, you had to do whatever is necessary to survive. Would this be good for your survival? Well, how do we make the judgment? We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let's begin criteria number one, comfort level. And in order to test the comfort level of all the boots and shoes that I review on this channel, I do a three mile run and then a five mile walk and then I continue wearing the shoes for the rest of the day so that the total wear time is eight hours. Non-stop, no pauses in between, no taking the shoes off all day. And let me tell you guys, I love the comfort level for the most part. There is one very, I wouldn't say major complaint, but very distinct complaint that you don't really find with other shoes. So, it will be up to you, obviously, to make the decision. Is that something you want to live with or no? Let's start from the first factor that contributes to the comfort level. That will be the weight. And I have my scales over here. And this is size 10. And size 10 is... Wow. Nine and a half. 9.5 ounce. It is very, very impressive. Now, to give you a little bit of understanding whenever it comes to numbers, you, if you want to, obviously, you want something lightweight. I mean, that's really, <laughs> it's important. You guys should understand that it's important to have a lightweight shoe or boot, whatever, because it allows you to run longer, walk longer, just overall more comfortable. This is nine and a half. So, if you're looking for something lightweight, you want to find something under 20 ounce. As long as it is under 20 ounce, it will feel more or less comfortable. The more under 20 ounce, the, the lighter, the more over, the heavier it gets. Nine and a half, that's less than a half of that 20 ounce mark. For a shoe, this is very, very, very good. So Sokoni did a great job over there. The next factor that contributes to the comfort level is the flexibility of the outsole. And check this out. It is super flexible. So running in these, is a breathe. I mean, you can run properly without any problems, without putting the stress on your heels, on your ankles, on your knees. Now, moving on, we have our inner sole. And I'm gonna take it out so you can see what's going on here. Check this out. Form fit inner sole, excellent inner sole. Now you have a four, four millimeter offset. Uh, you have a very nice heel bed, very nice arch support, overall very cushiony and comfortable. I mean, this is really good inner sole, really, really good. But it gets better once you remove it. As you can see, there is an additional layer of cushioning. This is very nice, very soft and jelly additional layer that definitely adds up to the overall comfort level. So overall, whenever it comes to the inner sole, outsole, fantastic job, Sakoni, you guys nailed it. Moving on to the cushioning, we have, again, this is not just a regular fabric, no, this is actually a very nice jelly material that is going throughout the shoe up to probably around here and then you have a very soft fabric and then the front of the toe box is a little bit on the harder side because you have a rubber cap so it's very important to get these in the right size or maybe wear a thicker socks on your round just to have a little bit more cushioning here now you have your shaft 
that is nicely padded. The heel is very nicely padded. Now, let's get into that little complaint that I have about the comfort level, overall comfort level. I hope Sakoni can figure it out, but it is very prominent, it's very different. So if you are getting into the shoes, I want you to know that this is, this is what you are gonna experience. And if this is something you are willing to deal with, it doesn't really make it uncomfortable per se, but it can definitely create a little bit of weird feeling. Let's just call it that. Okay, so check this out. You have the BOA system going here, okay? And whenever you're tightening it, as you can see here, there's nothing. So you have only strings that are on this side of the shoe, which is completely fine once you tighten it around your shoe. When you're walking on or when you're running, this fabric, the way it creases, it creates a very, very weird feeling over the top of your foot. Almost kind of something like, it almost feels like you have wires going over th this part and when you're walking this wires sliding up and down obviously there is no there's nothing there's no wires there there's really nothing it's literally just a fabric but the way this fabric is it creates that weird feeling of wires or whatever you want of strings just kind of sliding up and down up and down whether you're walking or running on top Again, it doesn't create anything necessarily uncomfortable, but it's, it feels a little bit strange. So keep that in mind, I wanted you to know that. Let's move on to the criteria number two, proofing and protection. These are not waterproof, but they will dry up very, very quickly because the fabric is very light, very breathable. So no problems there, I don't mind that in a shoe. I don't mind it because you only have, you only have what? Anyway, let me check just so that we know about three inches of clearance, maybe three and a quarter inch clearance, not much for waterproofing anyway, so that's completely fine. Protection wise, you have a little bit of a, but it's very soft, keep it in mind, very, very soft, no protection in the ankles, no protection in the heels, so not much protection. You are more or less protected from the bottom. Uh, you have a very tough rubber going from the bottom, but we'll talk about the outsole later. Let's move on to the criteria number three, quality and the design features. Now, quality wise, Sakoni has been great. Their uh, Switchback 1 is very popular on Amazon. This one is even more popular. It really just recently came out and it already has almost 200 reviews, almost five stars. So people do like these quite a lot. Uh, obviously, they're very comfortable. Uh, there's a lot of features, which we'll talk about later. Overall, a pretty good shoe for the price. We'll talk about the price later as well. Now, whenever it comes to the design features, here, I always talk about the lacing system. And here, we have the most amazing, the most awesome <laughs> lacing system of them all. It's the BOA system. I absolutely love BOA system. The only downfall of the BOA system is that it creates this kind of... Uh, uh, maybe tripping hazard or whatever, it's just on the side, it kind of aesthetically, it kind of messes with the whole shape and form of the shoe with this bulky wheel. But compromising, sacrificing on that, oh my goodness, it makes it so much better. Check this out. All you need to do to release the tension, you lift this up, that's it. Tension is released. All you need to tighten is, you press this down, you tighten it, you tighten it a little more, you tighten it, you're going down the hill, you need to tighten it more, you tighten it even more. You're climbing, you need to tighten it just a little bit more. Couple more clicks and then you go climbing. Amazing. And then releasing the tension, all you need to do is pop the wheel out and that's it. Amazing, amazing, amazing lacing system. Absolutely my favorite. Favorite. Honestly, I wouldn't mind compromising my aesthetics on the shoe, whatever, this is phenomenal. I love it. Let's move on to the criteria number four, outsole traction stability. Excellent outsole, very, very good outsole. Now, whenever I do my run and my walk, I do those on a variety of different surfaces, uh, starting with older asphalt and the newer tarmac, dry sand, wet sand, dry grass, wet grass, rocky road, trail surface, concrete, marble tile, and now I added the rock wall to all my tests. And this handles excellent on literally everything that you throw at it. My only minor little complaint, which is not even a complaint, it's just a little something, is that this is not 
uh, this this outsole is not throughout so you have these kind of holes going and i wasn't a fan of it in the switch back one and i'm not a fan of it in switchback two now what it does it does save on weight obviously but whenever i'm running especially on the trail it's just psychological i have this in my head you know i have the outsole that is not fully covered so i cannot step on anything sharp just being worried about something penetrating through one of these holes honestly in the switchback three i really hope that Sakoni get rid of this kind of a holy design pattern and just leaves it as it is but again i'm not the manufacturer they are <laughs> and some people might appreciate it because it does lighter make, make the boot uh, the shoe um, lighter but overall it handles excellent on everything as you can see it's it's very flat but at the same time it's very 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 aggressive so on slippery surfaces like wet grass i mean you can run through the wet grass and you will be just fine obviously pointless to talk about ice and snow uh, and let's move on to the criteria number five might as well temperature pointless to talk about cold winter temperatures because this is not waterproof this is not insulated just forget about it but for hot for other two three seasons amazing very nice very breathable great uh, let's move on to the criteria number six really quickly sizing these are true to the size yes no problems there at all get yourself half a size bigger so that you have a little bit of extra space so that your toe is not touching from the inside of the toe box will save you unnecessary fatigue let's move on to the criteria number seven if this really was your ultimate survival shoe right the criteria number seven balance for application if this really was your ultimate survival shoe would this be good would this contribute to your survival? Okay, so let's go one by one, right? Amazing outsole. I love it. It can handle great on pretty much anything. Minus the psychological fear, a little bit of stepping on something sharp that can go through one of these holes. Just a little something. Not a big deal, but something. Boa system. Unbelievably great for survival situations. Why? Because quickly put on, tighten, go. That's it literally takes no time to put the shoe on and take the shoe off i love it downside a little bit this thing sticks out so if you're climbing if you're if you're running you don't want to catch on something that will trip you over okay just a little bit something kind of to think about comfort wise excellent comfort super lightweight very breathable very comfortable excellent inner sole the only thing to keep in mind is that little weird, it's, it's really hard for me to explain it because you really have to feel it. It, it might necessarily bother you because it, it might, you just might you get used to it after like, you know, a few days of wearing the shoe, but something to keep in mind. So overall, excellent shoe, but it comes down to the personal preference. Do you want a shoe and not a boot for your survival situation? Are you okay with the outsole? Are you okay with a BOA system? Are you okay with certain comfort here and there things? And overall, what is your survival scenario? Are you going to be running as fast as you can? Do you want to be as light as you can? It's because if that's the case, this is a fan fantastic, fantastic option. And uh, that brings me to the very last criterion here. Criterion number eight, the price. Okay. Get ready for this one under hundred dollars yes like 94 95 dollars currently on amazon there's a, a, actually a discount going on it so very impressive pricing honestly very impressive especially considering that there's boa system boa system usually runs pretty freaking expensive like anything that with a boa system is not less than like 170 180 dollars so it's very impressive that sakoni could do it for 100 bucks with the boa system and everything else that they offer in this shoe as a trail running shoe even if you don't care about the whole survival situation whatever as a trail running shoe i freaking love it the only thing for me personally i don't even worry about the boa is this weird feeling on the top so check it out go ahead get it order it from amazon uh the link is in the description below if you don't like it you can always send it back but i mean everything else is fantastic so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about this review what do you think about this shoe if you have any requests for reviews drop them in the comments below and i will be happy to address them thank you very much guys for watching this was ultimate survival gear i'll see you guys in the next video